How you doing today? Just wanted to introduce to you some of the things we have upcoming in our M4 newsletter. Uh, we have our emphasis for this particular newsletter in March and April is going to be our trips to Ethiopia and some of the partnerships and things that are developing there. One of the great things I like to remind all of us about God's love and His Word is that His heart is for all people, all nations, from Genesis to Revelations. We see in God's love letter to us that He loves all people. And one of the things that can help us grow in our relationship with Christ and grow to know who He has created us to be is to, to get involved in people's lives who are different from us, to cross cultures, to walk across the street, to walk across to our neighbors and introduce ourselves and introducing Christ to others really does bring a life change to us. It's part of our growth and development and opens our eyes to see things from God's perspective. And so we have a little story in the newsletter about that. We also have a report or a little story from the trenches that we call it and from Diana Kasky and her trip to Ethiopia. We also are introducing a partnership and an opportunity for you and I to help some children in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia that where they are being educated but they're having a hard time even with their education because of a lack of food, lack of clothing, just some simple basic needs that we can easily meet and so we are encouraging you to do that. The M4 network continues to grow. Part of our vision is to challenge people, all of us as Christ followers, to not give to things that support ourselves but to give to things that will support the advancement of God's kingdom. Too often our giving is around building staff and things that will help us as Christian consumers rather than giving to the Great Commission of Christ. Our network here is expanding, it's growing, we're excited about it and I would encourage you to join me as we give to see the mission of Christ of making and multiplying disciples, of forming into reproducible churches that will transform lives from here all the way to the sands of Somalia, to Asia, etc. Let us have a big enough vision to think small. So we're excited about how God is expanding our network and encourage you to continue to support us in your prayer and in your financial giving. So thank you so much for all that you do. We appreciate it.